Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing where I stamp to cheer the brokenhearted and connect all my friends to Jesus. I am very excited to be here with you and yes, the topic of today is counting my losses. Oh mercy, I'm not really excited about that but I'm excited about sharing ideas with you and sharing the joy of stamping as usual with the joy of the Lord. So there's always a balance right there. We have losses, we have wins, and this is a season where Stamping Up is switching things around because we are going to be getting a new catalog coming May. So our current catalog is going to go away, both the annual catalog and the mini catalog. So I'm going to show you my losses and we're going to create together. And I want you to tell me as you watch if you have any losses, okay? If there's any retired product that is going and you are going to miss seeing it so much. Let's switch the camera around. As always, remember at the end, I have a message for you and I hope it blesses you and equips you for the rest of the week. Awesome, God is with us. So let's go ahead and stamp. This is a good day, awesome. And if you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for being here with me today. This is the place where I am today. I am not on Facebook and did not let me enter Facebook and I'm not going to be fighting. I'm just gonna go through YouTube today. <laughs> And hope that many of you join me. So if you are on, oh, look at me. I pressed the wrong thing. Yeah, thank you for, for being here. I'm trying to get things off and I keep putting them back on. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining me. I'm excited. As you he see here, I have the annual catalog. I have the mini catalog that ends now at the end of April. This is it. We are done with this catalog and there is so much that is going away and I don't want you to miss the opportunity to get those products for those who are my faithful customers thank you so much you are a blessing in my life and honestly there is so much leaving from both catalogs that if I go through the whole catalog I will bore you but there are some lands last chance list on my blog and I will be posting them under this video later on as well. So you can go through them. I've been marking everything that is retiring. And most importantly, I think one of the things that I will miss a lot are the in colors from 2022. Three, no, 2022 to 2024, which are the Sweet Survey, the Parakeet Party, the Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. I think it took me two full years to learn to say Starry Sky. <laughs> I say that in so many ways through my different videos, but thank you so much for the patience that you all have. <laughs> When I am creating, it's always a joy <laughs> to do this. But anyhow, I am so happy that you are here today. So thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so I will go ahead and show you what I am going to be missing the most. And then we will create with a very easy sketch. I love easiness. Easy, easy sketch for us. And um, it is okay to lose a little, to get a little. It is okay. Sometimes we just have to go through that. But let me share this with you. Um, some of my favorites are leaving and some of my so-so are leaving as well. I have a full box in here, so I'll start sharing with you some that are leaving. Most likely, I'll be using these dies today. These are the contour, scallop contours dies. And up to last night, they were still available. If you did not know this, Stamping Up has some discounts coming on April 9th so that is tomorrow and you need to be very alert because things are going so fast and this is actually one of the stamp sets that the stamp is already gone like I went to check yesterday and it was not there anymore where is my contour 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 I don't know where you are in here but I know you're retiring because I saw you oh right there <laughs> scallop contours right here you can see them, how they look. And we'll be using those today a little bit later. I think it's one of my favorites. I got it pretty late. I was surprised that I did that. It's been the favorite of many people. From the mini catalog, the Easter lilies that have so many beautiful um, Bible verses like trust in the Lord with all your heart. It also has God is good. Peace I give unto you and he is risen. This was beautiful. I used it during my um, Easter cards. I shared, I have several videos with it and I hope that you were inspired. Inspired. Now the dies for this particular um, set are gone already, but you can still get the beautiful Easter lilies with the Bible verse. So don't miss that one. I have biggest wish. I'm going to be losing this one as well. And it's going away. Okay. We have season of chick and now season of 
chick. I, I hope I said that. The stamp set is already gone. I went to check. It's been out in the, it's been out for a while. Okay. So the beautiful stamp set is gone, but the, the, the dies are still available. So if you love shells, look, I have a little piece of tape. If you love shells, um, and, and a die set that is very, um, it has leaves for fall. It has flowers for spring. It has, shells for the beach for summer and then it has this beautiful i don't know how you call this but it's like a beachy net it's like a beach net or something like fishing net or something like that i love it and i have several samples with that but i'll put this one this is gone but the dice are still there just going through some very quickly so you can see good feelings is going to be going away and if you are watching say hello I am here. I'm so happy to see you all. It is a joy to have you. Good feelings. Hope and prayer. One of my very, very favorites is going to go away. Hope and prayer. And this is so sad. But yes, it is going away. And uh, um, we should be using this very soon as well. I really like this one. So I'm going to keep it aside. Okay. Um, let's see. We have Petal Park. And the photopolymer stamp set Petal Park is very cool because it actually coordinates with one of the punches from Stamping Up, which is the Petal Park Builder Punch. So if you look in the catalog, I believe I can, uh, maybe I can find it pretty easy. But this set has two coordinating stamp sets, the punch has two coordinating stamp sets and one of them is retiring and the other is not. So the one that I have, which is Petal Park is retiring, but the one that they're still keeping is the Sentimental Park. So I believe Sentimental Park is still gonna be available, but not Petal Park, which is the one that coordinates so, so nice with all of our little flowers. So don't miss that one out. The Petal Park Builder Punch will stay. It's not retiring, which is nice, but my Petal Park Photopolymer stamp set is retiring, which is very sad. Again, I'm counting my losses and it's not easy because I love many of these stamp sets. Hello, Carmita. Good to see you here. <laughs> and Gina is here. Gina Grant, thank you so much. You're from sunny but snowy Maine. Oh dear, prime viewing here today for eclipse. Oh my, yes. <laughs> There's a lot happening. Oh my goodness. And this beautiful day, praise the Lord. Go and see that if you are able. The color and contour is the one that actually coordinated with the scallop contours dies but i believe it's already gone at least in north america and the united states because i went to check for it yesterday and uh -uh, it was not there so another loss big loss i loved it and you said in several in several um scrapbook pages and everything i think this was a very beautiful one to use we have this set it's called the ring with nature that has those beautiful wooden um three rings it's called it has a nice embossing folder that can also be cut with this so it's one of those special um can't remember how it's called let's see if it says it in here it's a hybrid embossing folder because you can put the die inside the embossing folder and cut everything through and it goes with ring with nature this is all retiring very sad okay this is one of the saddest days on earth because this is retiring okay now before i tell you that one this one, I have some nice little samples. I use some of this a lot for Christmas, so I have some in there. But the Memories and More is living, and this is one of my favorite ones, and I want to show you because if you're placing an order in my store this month, you truly should not let go of this Memories and More. Where was it? I think I have the paper in it. Yeah, it is so perfect it is so so beautiful i made several scrapbook pages already i made some nice little cards i think i had a video already where i show all of this and it comes as you can see with the sweet thoughts and memories and more cards and envelopes so don't miss that one it's way too cute you're nothing short of amazing memories and more is going to change so it's not going to come with so much like you have them right now which is the stickers and everything else i bought the peacock the pretty peacock um, ribbon on the side because i thought it coordinated beautifully so you don't want to miss this one it's only 
ten dollars and uh, it comes with stickers and i showed it in another um video so you can check that one out under my live videos but it comes with so much now don't despair i know stamping up is changing some things like the memories are more not gonna look the same but down maybe mid year stamping up is bringing more scrapbooking things so i'm really excited about that they're going to focus more on 12 by 12 which i love doing so i'm very very excited they're gonna bring some kits to us and different things so i cannot wait so i'm giving them the benefit of the doubt <laughs> because i love memories and more so much i've done so much with them but i don't want you to miss it okay this is a beautiful one and it most likely will go fast because it's only ten dollars plus the ten dollars of the envelopes and cards so don't miss that okay i don't want you to miss the good stuff the good stuff okay so i have one of my favorites in here oh have mercy i'm gonna cry with this one i thought that for sure they will leave my favorite timeless arrangements this is one of the stamp sets that has so much going on and the the dies i use in so many ways i created a lot of cards i actually have one video that i made like a um one sheet wonder type of thing and i just started creating and creating cards with the set and the beautiful countryside or something like that it's called the paper and i believe that this paper is not going to retire which is actually a new thing i've never seen papers just go from catalog to catalog but this paper has been such an amazing hit and i made so many cards with this timeless arrangement i am not happy that is leaving but i will keep I'll, I'll keep this one. It's hard to let go. It's very hard to let go. So let me know if you are a demonstrator or a customer. Let me know if there's some from here that you absolutely love. You have to tell me below because I'm suffering it by myself. I love it. Now we have also in the moment, in the moment, I have some cards in here that is also retiring. And I made some cards in the past in one of my videos as thank you, thinking of you. And I decided just to stamp the the women on on a sheet of the sanitary's paper and these are the dies that i told you the chick 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 hopefully i said that um season um dies i use them right here with the shells okay so those are just ideas i also have this beautiful one and this is in the I think it's, it's in the middle catalog. No, I think it's in the big catalog. It's just my type. I love it. I love it with the little typewriter and the little hello and all of that. I love it. And I actually made, I have a card in here um, that I kept. I made a lot of layers on top of that. And then I hope your day is filled with sunshine and rainbows. And I took some of those little flowers and I um, put them around. It makes the card so pretty. But then I also made this. Let me show it to you because I don't think I have where I created a scrapbook page and I also use the typewriter right here. I love it. <laughs> I have another one that I put the hello on top, but I don't have it at hand, so I'll show it to you later. Okay, I have another set that is leaving and this is also sad because this is the Earthen Textures stamp set and i got it in spanish because they had it in english or spanish and since i'm spanish speaking um i decided to try the spanish one that says thank you the world is much better because you're part of it god bless you i'm grateful for your friendship and you always know what to say to make me feel better and this is one of the most beautiful ah one of the most beautiful set i'm so sad it's leaving but um you can make something so so simple like this i put the little um um how do you call that jar jar i guess pot <laughs> I don't know how to call it now, but I made many cards and gave away many cards with this particular set, but you can tell right there how awesome it is with the dies, and then you can stamp, and there the paper is gorgeous, the colors are gorgeous, I love this one, I don't think I've ever shown these cards before, I was using it with the radiating stitches as you can see here, love these little ones in here and i have a lot of cards with the, oh i remember what i made with this i did a lot of christmas cards remember i i have a video with a lot of christmas cards where i use the dies to create stars i just doubled them one of these and one of these in in gold foil it was fantastic and i'll show you this one right here i have the instructions in the back but i've been creating with this one for a long time you see it right there i put muchas gracias thank you very much 
in there and then the world is better because you're part of it and it comes in english as well but i wanted to show you the beauty of it i have one page where i used it as well because i love using my favorite ones for scrapbooking and this this horse and this jars it has a very uh special meaning for me i have a little one of the pockets the in color pockets for my journaling but i used it to say uh a song that we were going through God is in the story scrapbook club and I was talking about what happened during that summer and how God was calling me out of being hidden and I love the song so I made a page around the song and what was God doing in my life and these images have a lot to do with that so I just used the paper from this suite the earthen textures is gorgeous and then i use the dyes and i use some of my foil paper and some of the beautiful ribbon it's like a twisted ribbon that um or trim i think it's called i love this and i think um everybody loves it as well because i love it everybody loves it right now i'm not done i still have more losses <laughs> which is not good, but it happens. Hi, Carmita. Thank you for being here. Happy Monday. Thank you, Hilda, for being here. Hilda Massey. I appreciate that you join me. I'm going through all my losses with joy, even though I'm not happy that I'm living all of this. Okay, this is one of the ones that I think you should keep an eye on. The Alpha Best is going away. It is one of the most versatile Um stamp sets it has numbers it has all the alphabet and it also has some little backgrounds for your best label i love this so much and i'm gonna be posting some pictures with it through the month i have some samples that i want to show you because this was one of my favorites i got it from the first day that it came out especially that little best label i have those samples right here look I made this card during one of my paper pumpkin meetings that with my paper pumpkin subscribers. I do that on the second Thursday of each month and we created with past paper pumpkins. So we sort of had a particular sketch and I made not only that one, but I also made this one where I use the sending from another loss. Hello from the sending smiles. Here it goes. This is a nice my old bundle. Can we all cry together right now? <laughs> this is all so leaving. This is not good. It's not good, but I'm trying to encourage myself in the Lord. Everything is going to be okay. There's a lot of beauty coming. Okay, but these are some of my favorites. And honestly, these are some of my favorite cards. I love the sending prayers. You can tell that I use some good paper pumpkin stuff in here. And then I love the sending love as well. I use some of my it was just that day was all about using the leftovers <laughs> you know when that happens like you gotta go look for the leftovers so that's exactly what we did but i used this particular um stamp set sending smiles and then i put it together with the alpha best and the best label stamp set so we have so much going on and um the sending 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 i use in many different ways when it came out you see, and these are the colors that are retiring. So you can tell that I love these. This is the Orchid Oasis and the Starry Sky, the Sweet Sorbet, and this is the Parakeet Party. I don't think I used Tahitian Tide for any of these cards, or at least they're not. Oh, it may be right here. Yeah, I did. I did another one with the Tahitian Tide. So I use all those beautiful colors for this cards. This is such a cool card. I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Give me a second. Because I made it, if these were made when Sending Smiles came out and the In Colors came out. So I've been loving this ones a lot. Look at that. It is so cool to make. And uh, I made it a while ago. This is the Orchid Oasis. And all of these colors are going away. So if you don't have them, get your ink refills right away. Things are going to disappear. Sadly, things go very, very fast when they go into the last chance list. There's some discounts going on. Not everything has a discount, but some of the things have discounts. And um, you can check them out. But this was one fun one to use. And I have a big, big box full of everything that is retiring. This is not an easy season. <laughs> This is not an easy season for me. I'm going to put things away. And if you are looking at something and you're like, oh my goodness, that is leaving. This is not right. Tell me below. I love the conversation and the joy of 
we can console each other. We can comfort each other <laughs> in the midst of the storms, right? Love all these cards. So I'm putting them back where they belong because there's so much I can do. Most likely I'll do some more cards with this one soon. But I need to choose something to use today. I cannot use everything. Now, there's something very in important that I want you to know. Many of the designer shirts paper are leaving. And the designer shirts paper, usually when they leave, they're gone. Gone, gone, gone. And uh, I want to show some of my favorites that are gonna be leaving because I want you to do your list tonight and go tomorrow to the store and get them. Because honestly, if you don't do that, they're gonna be gone before you think so. So it's just a little alert, alert, alert. Don't let it happen to you. They will go away faster than you think. and. That's never fun when you go there and what you love is gone. So I have several in here. And this is the Daisy. This is in the annual catalog. It's fresh as a Daisy 12 by 12 the center shirts paper. It is, it is gorgeous, okay? I got myself some more. This, um, I bought some at the beginning, but I got myself some more because I thought it was way too good. You can see here. I actually made some scrapbook pages with this the other day, so I need to show you those. This is good during my scrapbook club. You see the beauty of this paper is like no other. It looks like painting on it, look at that. It looks like mixed media without the mess, which I love. I love mixed media look without the mess. My friends know that. <laughs> Thank you, Sue Mitchell. So good to have you here, my dear. Thank you so much for your words. I'm so resistant to change. It is hard to let go. It is hard. It is got something good is around the corner. Look, I really use this so much. Look, I just, the earthen texture dyes. I was presenting them a while ago and I really, really like this. So this paper was well used. I even ordered more. I had a lot of cards that I created. I have still a lot of things. I put them in this pocket because I really love this paper. It's very like earthen. Hello, that's the name of it. Earth, earthy. And then it has that pretty peacock. It's gorgeous. I use it for many of my scrapbook and many of my cards as well. I think this is such a nice usable paper. Look at this one. It kind of switches colors in there. And let's see, we have this dark and that brown. So it's a lot of browns together. Oh, the Moody Mauve. Moody Mauve is still staying. It's our current in colors from 2023, 2025. So there's a lot that we can do with this one. And I was considering using that one for today, but I may not use it. And this is called the Masterly, Masterfully Made. Did I say it right? Masterfully Made Designer Swiss Paper. It is going away. I'm telling you, if you wait, um, it will be gone before you know it. So if you want more of this paper, and I only have two sheets left. So yeah, I am done with my paper but you know what is the joy i use it a lot like i got several of these packages and i use it a lot and i'm like oh god help me not to order anymore because i get a little too cuckoo crazy okay this is the b one the b one i had several videos with the b my valentine is that the name of it be mine that's just the name of it be mine i made many cards with these i made many projects and um and also i made all my february scrapbooking pages with this one so this is a precious one this one is in the mini catalog and this one is also going away and that is so sad i thought this one for sure will stay forever love you have to if you love pretty peacock this paper is the type that you buy and then you don't want to use it because it's way too beautiful right it has all that gold shimmer in there so you can tell it has the pretty, um, this is the, ah, what's the name of it? The name is not coming to mind. It's petal pink. I did it, petal pink. It has muddy move, moody move. I said it, I always say it wrong. Moody, not muddy. Moody move. Look at those papers. Look at those flowers. Everything coordinates with this suite. There is a suite with this beautiful paper with stamp set and all. Look at it. I just wanted to show it to you because I think that sometimes I don't communicate these things and then people are like, wait a minute, this already retired? I'm like, yeah, it's gone. But this one is a gorgeous, gorgeous paper. It has so many of these. I am so happy. I just ordered some of these. So these are just done. I use only one page out of it. 
but all my paper share ladies already have their shares and talking about shares this is coming this week i'll be posting for my shares so i'm really excited about doing that again with a new catalog that will be coming in may all of my customers already um i mailed you through the mailing selection from stamping up i mailed you the new animal catalog and it will look like this and i love that it's so gardening type it's like you want to be out, you want to be with friends, you want to have some lights, but I love the, the the fellowship of it because honestly, when I meet with friends, I just met with my team this Saturday and even though it was through Zoom, just those connections are so special, right? It's just, just inspiring each other is so special, being community, doing picnics, and now that spring is coming, please bring it. It is so good to have some picnic time and just go out to eat or use the tables outside when you go to restaurants or farms or things like that and doing it with friends is really good i'm excited to visit a tulip farm this week so i'll take some pictures and <laughs> it's gonna remind me i am not able to show you the inside of the card as of yet uh, of the catalog as of yet because um it's still not out it's still not out so when everybody has it in their hands and all my customers should be getting one i'm excited for that now what do i want to do today well this is what i want to do i have some car bases and i have some papers so i brought some white car bases they're eight and a half by five and a half and i have many of my ladies that already let me put this on the floor that already have my paper shares from before so i brought some paper shares i brought some from 2022 2024 which the with the in colors and can you tell that i i'm going in color crazy because i'm i even brought one of my placemats with the in color i think this is the orchid oasis yep so pretty and I also brought the paper share from Fresh as a Daisy because it is so super cute. And I'm still working some cards with these. So I'll share them with you. Give me one second. I have them somewhere around here. <laughs> they are so pretty. Okay, you have to see them. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? This is it. Look how beautiful that card is. And I am using here the sending, sending, where did I put you sending? Here you are. Remember this one, the sending smiles with the sending dies, okay? So I used that one and I did a video with a lot of sketches not long ago and I started redoing them with this beautiful paper. So here's another one and you can see that video. I'm gonna try to put that link below after I'm done here. But these are so many cool cards that you can make with the sending birthday wishes and this one just, I just went around it as you can tell and put more of the flowers on the inside. So I put some gems in there as well, but I am loving the sending. Look at the sending. I am so sad that the sending is leaving, but I still have time to use it and we can keep using them, right? Because the idea is use what you have. But the paper, the paper is really exciting to me. So I have this in here, this in here, and I want to try to do a very, very simple, I said simple, um, sketch and I told the friend yesterday I was talking to Margarita and I said you know what I love making simple sketches so that then you can like make them amazing and just go all over and try your best <laughs> to outdo it <laughs> I keep it very simple but you ladies don't okay you never have to keep it simple you can make it amazing okay so I'm gonna get some of this paper out I use so much of this paper, have mercy. This is so good. Okay, and I have my, where did I put them? I have this two in here. I have hope and prayer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that right now. I have my alphabet, which I love, but I'm gonna need to put on the side to make something very simple. So I'm gonna bring my cutter, okay? And we're gonna cut, cut, cut some of the paper so we can make two cards. I'm gonna make one with this paper and I love this oh those two look like the same paper but they are not okay i want you to enjoy your pretty papers i love doing the paper shares that is coming now in may so if you're interested please let me know below and i'll include you on my list for sure so i have this one. Oh, this is so cute and this is so cute oh everything is so cute <laughs> everything is so cute i think these two go together very nicely but i also think this one goes together very nicely. So I made, oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use this too, just because I love it. And I cannot use everything on the same day. I'm trying to keep this 
this video a little bit shorter than usual, okay? And it's already long. We've been here for half an hour, so I may only make one card and see how this goes. Have mercy. <laughs> But we have this. This card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So what I want to do is that I'm going to cut three strips, okay? So I'm going to make um, maybe a one seven eight, one seven eight, one seven eight. That would give me what? Like two, two, two is six. So that would be like really, really big. So one and a half plus one and a half is three plus one and a half. So it would be one and a half. Yeah, I'm good with my math here. So I'm doing, let me cut this at five and a half first because my shares are always cut four by six. So I'm gonna cut this at five and a half. And then I'm gonna cut this at one and a half, okay? And I think I'm gonna use the back of this one. So I'm gonna do a one and a half as well in here, okay? And I'm not gonna use this piece, but I'm gonna use a one and a half from this one. So I'm gonna go right there, I'm making it easy, okay? I remember one and a half is something that anybody can cut by five and a half. And I usually leave a border for my cards, but I don't wanna leave a border for this one. So I'll show you what I, um, I have in mind, okay? So I'll put it right here, okay? And my idea was to do something like this where I can cover the entire card. And I see that my card seems like it was cut wrong because I have yeah, that looks like it's not cut correctly. And then I want to put this one here, but I want to put it like that. Okay, so in this case, what I'll do is that I'll find my um, I'll find my glue. Yes, and then I'll I kind of trim the bottom later. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna keep it light. I'm gonna keep myself lighthearted. We have to walk lighthearted. That's been my word for the day. Lighthearted. Keep your heart light not troubled, not worried, not concerned about anything. That's hard some days, okay? You want to be concerned. You want to take control of things. But I feel like that's not what God is calling us to do right now, but to trust him. Trust him every step of the way. The Lord is with us, so I'm excited about that. So here I am. I'll do this. Okay, I want to bring it a little bit higher because I want it to be totally to the toppy top right there. And then I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put the glue here. Okay, because I want to have that side. Super simple. And as I said, I think I cut this one's a little bit wrong. So I want to make sure that I have everything in the right spot. Now I need to cut that off. So I'm going to bring my cutter. And in this case, I'm actually going to bring my big cutter. Um, let's see where am I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my bit cutter. Excuse me, because I want to have that bottom done really nice. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just take that out, and then I'm gonna switch it around and I'm gonna take that excess out. There you go. Okay, that looks cute. I like it. Okay, I wanted to have my entire card completely covered that's what I wanted because I want the papers to shine I want those papers to shine I also went ahead and cut some of the scallop contour sorry my camera is moving some of the scallop contour I already cut them to put one right here on this side now that will cover a little bit of my paper so I could do it like this if I wish one or the other, it doesn't matter. You can make it one way or another. Okay, now I want to go ahead and before I get too excited about this, ooh, this is such a nice one. I don't want you to miss the hope and prayer. If you don't have hope and prayer, you need to go ahead and get hope and prayer. It's such a powerful, amazing stamp set. You are in my prayers. Oh, and I love that. It's not the photopolymer. It's actually the squishy one. <laughs> they call them the clear. I call them the, well, the clean stamp set. Okay. I think I'm going to use this just because, just because I have not used it in a while and it's going away so why not try it now the colors of this particular paper i always put them on my paper here i have garden green moody moth pebble path pretty peacock hello pretty peacock it is i love pretty peacock just ordered some new car stock is out there again so i think i'm gonna go with pretty peacock now let me bring this quick where did i put here it is hi this looks so cute don't you think it looks so cute just like that <laughs> I love it. 
I, why do I love stamping so much? I have no idea. It's just maybe just the, the fun of stamping, the fun of sharing it, the fun of putting, putting a message out there. And then the design and I guess God makes us all in different ways, right? Let me try to do this again. You know what? I don't need that. I don't need this with this type. So let me put it on the side and see if that works better. Yeah, that worked better. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp. I don't need it because it's not a photopolymer, so I don't have to be so... Um, let's see if I'm, I'm going to move it a little bit down here so I can see where I'm stamping. I don't have to be using an extra cushion for it. Under his wings, you will find refuge. Look how gorgeous that looks. I love it! <laughs> I'm like, yes! I did it! I did it! Okay, so I'm going to use that one for this card. Oh, Jessica, you always do it. You are so awesome at this. I just mess up my little thing in there. But don't worry. We're going to keep moving along. Moving along. Okay, now I remember something. I don't want to forget this. I remember that my just my current paper pumpkin, I believe, has a flower that may go very, very well with this. But I don't know where my flowers is or where my stamp set is. Maybe right up there. Oh, come on. It should be up here. Let me see. Not fair if it's not. Yes, it is. Yay! Thank you, Jesus. Guys. <laughs> I think this flower would go so nice in here. It would look so pretty. Don't you think? Yes, it will. Hello. I think I'm going to try it, okay? I think I'm going to try this right here. Let me get a stamp. I see Jill is here. Always enjoy your presentations. Thank you so much, Jill. It is a day of losses, but I'm counting my losses with joy. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm counting them with joy so that I'm, I'm encouraged, okay? I'm encouraged. Now, I believe that color you see i get too creative now i don't want to finish is copper clay or what was that copper clay yeah let me find copper clay in here this is our current because i think that would look very pretty in that color so i'm gonna try to get one of these and this one is a photopolymer so i do use my thing now i'm gonna use one right here okay Oh, that's, that's striking. And then I want to use another one right here. Because I want to cover my boo-boo. <laughs> that's the only reason I'm doing that. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Now I have to find a color that actually goes with that, right? Because I need to have some yellow or something. I can't just use whatever other color for the flower. So let's see. Come on, give me, give me a yellow. Okay, I have a nice yellow in here. This is very nice. I could use that. Oh, I could use that. Yeah. And I can use this one too. No, I can't use that because this color is dungle. But I can cut that in here. So let me do... I'm just going to get the color here. Oh, don't mess up your whole paper, Jessica. I'm going to go right there. And then I'm going to go right here. Okay, I did it. Okay, awesome. And for some weird reason, lately you seen the paper... Piecing, paper, piecing, paper, piecing all the time. I know, sorry. Sorry for those who do not like to cut. It's okay. It's okay. It's You don't have to cut. You can use the, the smiling one, the sending smiles, okay, instead of the paper pumpkin one. And then it will look very pretty anyways. But today I didn't want to use my die cutter because it's far away and I've been die cutting a lot. And I'm in a video like this and I don't want to get all my dies out. <laughs> so I'm going to use my paper pumpkin one because it's way too cute. <laughs> And I'm going to put them on top of that, okay? But as I was preparing for this video, I was kind of encouraged because I'm like, oh my goodness, it seems to me like I'm counting my losses, you know? Like I'm just going through all my stamp sets and I went through all the catalogs and I'm just like marking every single stamp set that I own that is leaving no joy, no joy there. But I started thinking about counting it all joy and then I'm like, wait, what Bible verse is that? I know there's a Bible verse, so I'll read it to you in a little bit, but it's in James and it talks about counting it all joy, even the trials. And I know many demonstrators are going through trials right now because there's a lot of changes going on in the company and sometimes it's so overwhelming. But you know what? 
the power of God's peace takes over our stress. The power of God's peace just give us such balance. We don't have to do it all. We don't have to understand it all right away. Things will fall into place and we can just enjoy the journey, which is why we join Stamping Up. I'm enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying this time and I'm excited for what God is doing. But hey, whoop, don't fall. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to finish this card and I'm going to say, yay. <laughs> so let me put this here. It is way too cute. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. Again, I said this is a super simple card, okay? I'm not trying to, but I think you could do so much better than me if you just take the card. Ooh, I like it. Make it your own, okay? Make it your own. Don't go too crazy. But look, it's three strips. I cut them at one and a half, one and a half. And if you don't want to miss any piece of paper, let's just say, Jessica, you cut it off and you're going to throw it away. Well, maybe you should cut it at one and a quarter. So one and a half, one and a half, and one and a quarter by five and a half. And you have a very simple sketch to do. Now, I'm going to put this one right in the middle, but I'm going to bring one little detail because I love ribbon. If you did not know that, oh, how mercy. I love ribbon and these, I think, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think this ribbon may be retiring. I don't remember. Um, don't quote me. It may or it may not be retiring, but I love ribbon. And we have amazing Pretty Peacock ribbon. And I think this, I just used Pretty Peacock in there. And then we have amazing Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock gems or yeah, foil gems. That's how they're called show them to you right there and they add a little bit of gold do you see that gold that goes so nice with this other color right here what color is that have mercy that is ta -ta 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 -ta, crush curly oh it had to be okay so let's see where i'm gonna put this ribbon because i like it but it, but i cannot put it like this because the card opens like that duh that's not gonna work so most likely i have to put it the other way around so let me add this ribbon in here and then i'll be gone and i'll let you create with all that you have and tell me what you're gonna be missing <laughs> okay this is something that i always like doing yeah i think i'm gonna do it but let me see give me a minute here i'm in the process so if i do it like this oh no i think i'm gonna no forget it i'm gonna pull more yeah i'm gonna pull more and then I'm going to cut it right here with my ribbon scissors. And then I'm going to come down here. Yes, this is when I get in trouble. Oh, you're like, why she had to get out <laughs> that ribbon? <laughs> because I love it. Because I can't go. I can't just leave it there. It brings such a, a nice touch. So I want to put it around here. Let's see if it works. Because my thing goes there. Yeah. I'll do it. And you can move it later on. So I'm just going to make a little bow in here and see how it looks. I take the chance. We take the risk. Remember, you're supposed to do it better than I. I'm just giving you an idea. And then you go with the flow and do it much better than I. You're like, you know, I'm going to compete. I'm going to say, Jazz, you did it that, that way. I think it goes better this way. It's okay. <laughs> go ahead and share it. Even go share it in my Stamp Blessing Facebook group. I would love to see it. I would love to see what you create when you find an idea that you love, I, it is, you know, demonstrators and customers alike. We are all friends in this and I love it. I love when others grab an idea and say, hey, I used it for my class and it worked awesome and the ladies loved it. I love that. It's like, yay, you know, there's a victory in being together. Okay, so I'm trying to maneuver my beautiful ribbon. Let's see if it's gonna go sideways or if I'm gonna leave it up like that. Most likely it's gonna stay up like that. Okay, let me find my dimensionals. I have them on this side. I'm gonna get my dimensionals for this. It's gonna look so nice. Oh, I'm finishing one of these, so excellent. I'll just put this one right here and I'll put this one right here. Super simple card, three pieces of paper. Use your paper shares, okay? Use your paper shares because this works perfect. And then let's put this little scallop one. I can I can pull this a little higher if I want it. That's the good thing about going around it. Just kind of go like this. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And let's see if that's what I wanted. You see, because I put it too high. <laughs> okay, Jessica, don't ruin it. You were doing so good. Okay, here, let's put that right there. And that way you can see all the colors. Oh, it's looking so pretty. I like it. And I have this in here. So let's see. I think this doesn't have petal pink, but if this mommy wants to put it, it's okay. I think you will forgive me if I use that one in there because it looks nice and cute 
let's see where do i want to put this other one let me put it right oh it went to the other side ah no it doesn't go there let's put it here let's put one there and let's put a bigger one over here and then because we are on it you know it's kind of fun let's put another one in there and let's put five so usually i go for five or threes okay but isn't that cute <laughs> such a cute card and yes you can use the sending smiles for sure that is so good i don't know where i put it where did i put sending smiles yes i've used my sending smiles for many of the cards that i showed you but today i decided to use my paper pumpkin one that came in our memorable meadows i still have one of those paper pumpkin kits the person who said that was going to buy it has not replied back to me to get it so let's see what happens with that last one but this is such a cute card i hope that you like it and most likely i'll just put your my prayers or hope anchors the soul on the inside and finish that card very very nice thank you for everybody that is here it is so so good to see you enjoy the eclipse if you are close to it i'm gonna turn my camera around and share the word of god which is my passion today and always god is good let's go over here yay <laughs> God is good and I have my Bible right here and this verse really encouraged me today. It says James 2, I'm sorry, it's James 1 verse 2 and 3 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, hmm, because you know that the testing of our faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I love that. If any of you lacks with wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. What a love we have in God. He's not trying to find fault on us when we ask him for wisdom. He certainly wants to lead us. But even in the changes that you're going through, I want you to consider it all pure joy because it's all going to work for your good as you love God. Let your priority be to love God with all your heart. Let your priority be to hold tight to him through all the situations because he is going to be with you. He's never going to leave you, never going to go away, never going to stop loving you for anything that you do, but make it your priority to love God first. And you know what? Everything else will work out for your good. So I'm going to let you hold to that word today. Consider it pure joy. Even if you're going through trials, the Lord is going to do something new, something beautiful for you. And I am holding on to that promise as well. Today, as I was praying, and I believe you with this, but as I was praying this morning, I just remember hearing Holy Spirit just saying, if you hold too tight to some things, then I cannot be your stronghold. The Father cannot be your stronghold if you're holding something too tight something else too hard let go let go and let God do amazing things in your life it is for your blessing God is always with you so I bless you I thank you for being here go ahead and share this video with others and let me know below which ones are the stamps that you are losing and it's not maybe a joyful thing but hello let me know below how many you're losing today and that we'll keep talking about last chance lists through the week and my Facebook group and here on YouTube, Stamp a Blessing. Thank you, my ladies. I love you. God bless you. Ciao, ciao.